Okay, I'm crossing my fingers that this is gonna work. Hey, Holly. Hi. As you know, sometimes Facebook doesn't play nice in the sandbox. Okay. Oh, sh oh. oh, that woman, she's so annoying when she comes on. <laughs> okay. okay. Got it. Now, go over to Facebook. Kylie Yvonne over there in Facebook world. Now, make that smaller so I can paste that over top of that. Not yet, Val, not talking about you yet, but we could. Okay. Hey, Janet. So kind of a weird day today with that weather out there. It was so cold. So kind of a weird day today with that weather out there. Okay, somebody's got oh, feedback. Oh. <clears throat> weird day today with that weather out there. Okay, somebody's got feedback. Oh. Okay. Weird day today with that weather. Out there. Okay. Well, I went out this morning to do the gardening and it was cold. And then I went out this afternoon to get groceries and wore my morning clothes and regretted it because it was hot. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So timeless tulips we're going to play with this tonight. Right? Sure. I don't know what we're going to do. Oh, there's Joan hiding over there, incognito. Can you hear us, Joan? Yes, I can. Okie dokie. All right, so what there are we doing? There I am. There you are. There I am. <laughs> All right, so what are we gonna do with Timeless Tulips? And please don't let me forget the draw tonight. Holy Aunt Jemima. I pushed the stop button last night and went, oh, you dumb blonde broad. Completely forgot to do it. So we have two to do tonight. So Timeless Tulips has been around a while. And I was looking at this page and thought maybe we could get some inspiration out of this page. Did you see this one? This one? It uses the expressions in ink designer paper in behind it. They just did a little, I think that's a four by four card or something. And then this one, that's a classic layout. So it's there for inspiration. Oh, Valerie, you're so kind. Valerie says, Glenda, don't forget to do the draw. Okay, could you remind me at like five minutes before I say goodbye? <laughs> I'm not gonna remember. You guys are quiet tonight. You're tired or something? Too much gardening? Well, for me, I'm not gardening in a way, but I was doing my rugs this week. Ooh. I hate washing rugs. I don't blame you. Yeah. Not a good thing. We're visiting, we had company from out of town. So. Uh -huh. That was lovely to see them because I haven't seen them for a couple of years now. Yeah. Janet says that means Val needs to remember twice. <laughs> Somebody tie a string around their finger so we don't forget to do it. Because if I tie a string around my finger, I'm not going to be able to stamp. Okay. So I guess, first of all, color scheme. 
one person said pink and purple and the other person said red and yellow. So these aren't necessarily the colors we'll go with, but we need, they're very different um, color tones, families. So we need to decide one or two. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> or three would be something else completely. So we have one for, one for two. I'll go with pink and purple too. Two for two. What kind of card base are you doing? I don't know. We haven't got that far yet. <laughs> okay. And Valerie wants this one. Two. This is up to three. We have three to, three to two. I'll make it red and yellow just to give you a hard time. Oh yeah, so now we have three to three. <laughs> <laughs> this is not helping at all. Another What's your vote? <laughs> Pardon me? What's your vote, Glenda? <laughs> I don't get a vote. This is Friday night collaboration. I get no vote at all. Are we only making one card or two? Well, it depends on how long it takes us to make the first one. <laughs> well, you could do one color set for one card and the other, and you could do them as you go. Uh-huh. There's Switzerland heard from over there in the keep it all happy. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> George votes red and yellow. Who's George? <laughs> and welcome to a crafting, George, whoever you are. Okay. So do we want to use one of these layouts as inspiration? Do we want to do something like card one or something like card two or go rogue and do something completely different? So one, two, or three. I like the two, the classics. The two. Yeah. I'm going with one. <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> of course. I, li I like one. Okay. So that's two for one and one for two. That Yvonne says one. So we got three to one. There we go. Oh, the Valerie's two. Been made. Three to two. Anybody else have an opinion? Or Marilyn, are you going to say one of each? <laughs> <laughs> well, one of those in a fun fold. It is? Oh, so we I could do, it. we, yes, I just realized what you said. Yeah. That we could do a fun fold. Yeah. We could turn this, we could turn either one of them into an easel. Yeah. Janet says two, Holly says one, so we're still at, even odds here. Okay. Okay, I'll make an executive decision. We'll start with this one because that was the first one chosen. <laughs> so we need green ink too. Sorry, what was that? I said, so we're going to need green ink also. Yes, we are. But I haven't got there yet. So which one are we starting with? I know we want to do two, maybe. What about if we do that? No. Does it mean that we have to do the tulips in two different <laughs> colors? All it means is those are the colors that we're going to use on the card. So we're going to start with that one, sort of, because I think that's just a note card size one. So we're going to make a full size because I don't like. Turn two into both one on the inside and two on the outside. <laughs> and Janet's trying to be Switzerland too. Okay. Why not your pink and your freesia in, in this pattern? Pink and fresh freesia in using that card. 
Yes. Hey. Now, are we happy with these two colors, polished pink and fresh freesia? Ooh, I oh. even have them. <laughs> hey. I'm going to just bring me down a little bit here because I feel like I'm too far away. Now I have to, sorry, I'm going to make you seasick a little bit. I was talking to my granddaughter the other day and she grabs the phone and she always wants to give me a hug and a kiss. And then she takes me and she shakes me. It's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, grandma's going to get seasick here. Okay. So I'm going to go and get, I have white because I thought maybe we'd use white. But I'm going to get polished pink and fresh freesia. And some more white. And I did bring out the expressions in ink designer paper, just in case we decided we were going that way. And I have black too. Okay. Color scheme and layout done. Card base, colored or white? Colored is one, white is two. Colored, white. Colored. <laughs> what about a black base? That would mm. be a colored base. Well, I know black's not a color, but you know, it's not yeah. white. <laughs> Okay, so apparently we're going with a colored base. So I'll put the white one over to the side. Base, one polished pink, two fresh freesia, three basic black. Polished pink, fresh freesia, or basic black for the card base itself, or, or, a green. We could do a green too. Because we haven't decided what green we're going to use yet. Is Polish pink and the Frieza in the in colors for 2023? That's the in colors right now. Okay, yeah. All right. Pear pizzazz, granny apple. Mossy Meadow. Okay, so I've got, I got some twos and I got some three and I got a three. So Valerie's already moved on to the green. <laughs> we haven't decided the base yet. I think we have more votes for two. What are you guys that are on Zoom? What? Um, what were your choices? One, two, or black? Uh, two for me, the violet or the the fresh Yeah, yes. that one. Same here. Okay. Whoa, look at that. I'm down to my last sheet. Good thing I have the spare or two. Okay. Now, cut it at five and a half. Okay, one card base. What's on the floor? One card base. And are we making an easel card? Valerie sure. said two for the base. Yes, we're doing two. Sure, okay. Fresh Freesia is the card base. Layer one, black, white card, layer two. Okay, four and a quarter, two and an eight.
That was four and a quarter and two and an eighth? Yes, ma'am. Hey, there we are. Now I need full sheet. Okay, that was Janet's suggestion. And then the, the white on there, I got to cut it down because it's not the right size, but then that on there. And now I just realized that I cut the black wrong because you see, they went right to the edge, edge to edge. So are we going to do it that way or are we going to have a frame around it? I'm going to have a frame around it. I can recut that. I have lots of cardstock. I'll cut a piece that way. Okay, so there it is with frame. And here it is without the frame. Can you see that? There it is without the frame. Without the frame. There it is with the frame. This is kind of boring. We always do cards like this, right? I like the, that way, the one you're putting on now. I do too. Now I need to find my white because I have to special cut the piece now. Okay, so I need to cut it. I need to cut it five and a half. By five and a half by three and seven eighths. There. <laughs> Janet says, go out of comfort zone, no frame. Yep. It's boring. Like we all, I just naturally gravitate to a full front to do lots of stamping on and have a frame all the way around. So now it's time to do something that's not in my comfort zone. How big was that white again? It is three and seven eighths by five and one half. Okay. Now we have to stamp and punch out some tulips and some leaves. And there'll be a bit of fussy cutting involved. Okay. Pink and purple flowers, or just one of the other? So pink is one, purple is two, both is three. 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 Okay, got two for three. Three. Three for three. Okay. Okay, everybody's saying three. So let me get a couple of daubers. And maybe we'll do some mixing and matching. Oh, yeah. There you go, Janet. She says, what if you sponge the edge? Yep, got them all ready. All ready, ready to go. Okay, so. <laughs> it's way out of my comfort zone. I, this is, I've lost my comfort zone. I must have left it in the garage or something. 
Okay, so we have a big flower and a little flower. I'm picking up the big flower and I'm picking up pink or purple? Pink for the big. Pink for the big, one vote for pink. Holly says three, so yep, yeah, we're doing three. We're doing multicolors. Pink for the big and purple for the little. With a little bit of spongy spongy around. Oh yeah, okay. Yvonne says pink, Valerie says purple. Anybody else got an opinion? Okay, I'm going to stamp. It's going to be in pink and I'm going to sponge some purple around the edge. Ooh, that's such an intense color, this one. Ooh. <laughs> No, this purple might just end up washing it the whole thing out. I don't know. We'll see. I don't mind this out of my comfort zone. It's good to be out of my comfort zone. Now watch. I'm going to take this, going to roll the edge, and I'm going to go down that center thing and see if that does anything. I have no idea, but we'll find out. You ready for the great reveal? Am I close enough or do you want me to go down a little bit closer? You're good for me. Ooh, wow, there's not much pink left in there. But it's nice, just a little hint of pink, and yeah, it looks good. I think so, anyway. Okay, so now we'll do one the other way. Just because we can. Okay. Ooh. Lucky. Huh. I'm, I'm having fun, so I'm doing more. <laughs> This one, let's try sponging in the middle. I haven't sponged that way before. Ooh, 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 ooh. Man, that's sure getting some different colors in these. Oh yes, Yvonne, it will definitely change color when I put, when I put Winky on. <laughs> she says, if you put Winky on. No, 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 it's when I put Winky on. Because, you know, a card's not complete when, without Wink Estella on it. I know, Val. Got to get me out of my comfort zone. Okay. Let's see what this one turns out. We might just have a, a whole garden full of different colored tulips. That would be pretty. Oh, look at that. Wow. So there you go. Four different ways to ink and use your dauber. Okay. So... Let's get Wink Estella out and see what happens when we use Wink Estella. Okay, this one is not 
reactivating much at all. But it sure is pretty. Highlighting a few spots and it looks nice. Yeah, it's bringing the pink out a lot more. Oh man, we're we're so good as a team, I tell ya. I can't color and talk at the same time, apparently. This is the first stamp set I did that um, Blackberry Bliss reactivating with Wink of Stella. And it's gorgeous. This is really didn't reactivate these inks at all. But it sure made the flowers pretty. Okay, now let's see if I can punch these without destroying the other ones or if I have to cut them out. Uh -oh. I think this is my, I have two tulip punches because when I got my first one, See what it does. It doesn't release. So they replaced it, but then I didn't throw the other one away. Because I thought, oh well, I can still use it. Whoops. <laughs> Bent the tulip. Okay, I have to do this one first. I like this one, this with the purple outside and the pink on the inside. It's really pretty. Okay, while I'm doing this, you guys need to decide pear pizzazz, granny apple, uh, mossy meadow, or something else. because the leaves have got to be done next. Come on, get in there. What an annoying punch this is. Okay, we have two for pear. Two for pear. I think I'll go with pear too. I'm just gonna put some temporary tape on here so that it stops moving all over the place. And a little bit there to hold that in place. Whoops, right to the edge mullet. Thank you. Definitely like what the wink of Stella does to this one. What colors are you using? Uh, those the the two colors. Um, um, where'd they go? <laughs> the uh, polished pink and the fresh freezing. But I it just it just seemed to really make it pop with the wing of Stella. It does. The, the pink really comes out. It really gives it depth. Okay, so we have a few of those now. Do we want some little ones? Where'd they go? Because there's this little buddy thing. I could do a couple of those. Yeah, he's got an even number right now. Yeah, but I haven't put the leaves on yet either. We've got pear coming out. Okay. Um, purple with a dash of pink along the bottom. I have to hand cut these. And you guys are probably all laughing and saying it deserve it serves me right. Oh, 
Oh, I like that. Look at that. Those turned out really cool. Do this before the ink dries too much. Maybe that'll make a difference. Ooh. Okay, I have to do one more little one. Do you want one more purple one or one more pink one? Yes, you would. You'd say one more purple one. One more purple one. And we'll do this one a bit different and do some pink coming down through the middle. Because you know, flowers are not always, always the same. Ooh. Okay, that was exciting. Apparently I need to play more often. Okay, now I need some pear pizzazz to do some leaves. And let me just put these other two away. And I'll do, do we want variegated leaves like we have variegated flowers? Okay, that way. Sure. Okay, what am I variegating one with? No, we're not. No, you're not? Oh. <laughs> I don't want to have to think. <laughs> what do you thought this was a, a come and let me do all the work thing? <laughs> not. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> I don't know how many leaves we're going to need, but I'm doing this one because this is the one that I can punch out. And I don't have to hand cut. Apparently we're going to have lots of Wink Costello on this card tonight. Hey. The punch. I have to get my other punch. I'll be right back. Hopefully this one will work a little bit better. I think that's why they've gotten away from punches because they just, they don't work. Oh yes, that one works better. One more, if it lets go of it, thank you. So we had to go and buy a bed today, a mattress for our cabin. Our days of sleeping on foam mattresses, little foamies are gone. Puppy's back can't take it anymore. Come on. So we went to our local store called Jowsies. 
and I haven't been in there since Rita McKinnon died. And it's just not the same in there anymore. There we are. Okay, we have leaves. I noticed that too when I went in there a year or so ago. They still have her picture up on the wall. I didn't notice that, but I was busy looking at other stuff. I was hoping she was going to be planted in the cemetery by our house, but I haven't seen her there. We go over there all the time and say hi to the new, the new neighbors. Okay. Now we have to figure out what our layout is going to be like. Do we want to do them laying out in a line like the sample is? If you guys want to look, it's on page 39 of the annual catalog is what, where the sample is. So we could either do it in a row like that, or we could do it in cluster. This is a easel card, isn't it? Yeah. It is. So it's going to it's going to flip up. See if I can hold the flowers in place. It's going to flip up like this. Like that group, even though they had them in a line. Valerie likes the cluster too. And Holly said dyes are lighter to ship than punches are. Very, very true. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I like punches though, because when you're prepping multiples, it's really easy just to sit there and punch out 30. It takes no time at all. Whereas if you're die cutting, it takes a long time to die cut 30 things. So Marilyn, are you joining us for the the uh, bloom where you're planted stamp camp? Yes, I am. Yay! I'm looking forward to it. Me too. Somebody said, "Can you do some something on the 19th?" I said, "Nope. I got to be home for the 18th because I have a very important thing to do on the 18th." Okay, we have those, we have these. Uh-oh. Throw a little one at the, <laughs> towards the front. And a few leaves. Oh. That's what happens when you have big clumpy hands. Okay, leaf. Leaf. My pokey tool. Pull that one back out. And leaf. Nope, that needs to go the other way. It's not going to. Because I just remembered that you have to do the, the mirror image technique to get the leaves going the other way.
I think I have those ones upside down. Have the fat part up, the fat, this one, the fat part should be down. One in there. One there. Pull this dude out a bit. Well, dead silence. <laughs> At the top left, could it come out a little bit more? This one? Yes. This kind of looked lost back there. It needs to go on top of that leaf. That's better, I think, in a way. I still have some, I gotta do stems. That's Very a pretty. big cluster. Well, we don't have to use all of them. And Holly says, what, and stems? Yep, I'm doing stems, Holly. Straight stems, not crooked stems. Now, if I do one, oh, I don't have a long piece. If I do one long one, then I can cut it short, right? So oh, there's mung on that. Hey. I guess I could always have stamped the stems right on the thing instead of having to fussy cut them, but oh well. Are you guys sleeping out there tonight? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Not that late, is it? Not yet. We're heading out camping on Monday with our local family and some friends out to China Creek. And we don't have full hookup out there. So we have no sewer. And we're out there for a week. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> well, the good thing is that our son has a poop wagon. So it's like a portable um, sandy dump. So hopefully it's going to work. Okay. Stems going on. So now I've got to get the trailer all packed and ready to go. No, I don't want that one. Okay. <laughs> I do a lot of fussy cutting, Yvonne. I'm not, I'm not really liking that placement of those. You guys need to be telling me what you think. Because I'm not supposed to be doing this. You're supposed to be doing this. They're tighten them up a bit. I think you have too many flowers. Okay. Now I have none. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy to do. <laughs> Put the stems on first. 
what page was it on again? The um, samples? 39. 39. 39, yeah. Okay. Okay, Marilyn. How many flowers am I using? Um, how many you got total? You got seven? Seven, yeah. Try five. Okay. This one. Oops, that one did a deep dive. Come on. That's looking better. Now you got one a little taller than the rest. Come on, get in there. The one of the um, the little one that you've got don't have placed yet. That's on the side, in the, towards the front, maybe. Maybe not. Hmm. Oh, that's kind of cute. Yeah, I like that. This one's kind of out in left field. Maybe we don't need one there. Maybe we need leaf there. Yeah, try that. can't believe how long it's been since I used this stamp set. Oh, and I actually thought it had retired. Supposed to show you what I know. You know, we're going to get these all placed and then how am I going to remember where they go? Yeah. Take a picture. Okay, so now we've got it this way. Not enough pink. Okay, not enough pink. I think you need one more leaf there on the side, on the right side. It seemed to be all. I don't Didn't know. I do? Oh, there it is. I know I did five leaves. Okay, hey, on top of the flower, Carmen, or under the flower? Not sticking out like that. No. <laughs> that little one that's right above your left uh, thing, your middle finger. No, come over there. He's kind of lost in there. Just wandered down. <laughs> I think that's better. Yeah. Um, are we liking that? Oh, who's saying good night to me? Was that yeah, Cameron? <laughs> Cameron's trying to hide. Oh, look, Heather, <laughs> you have two heads. <laughs> <laughs> two heads are better than one. All right. Good night. Good night, sweetie. Good night. <laughs> Um, that one I'm going to have to cut the bottom off. Oh. Move this one down a bit so that it hides that, which means that's got to come down. Okay, ladies, what do you think? Over there in Facebook, come on. 
need to be telling me what you're thinking. Sorry, I'm trying to do a car wash card. <laughs> a car wash card. Oh. Well, I had this idea of to do thank you cards for a child. Oh, use paper oh. pumpkin. But then it doesn't have a car on it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what if we took this card, oh, and kind of, wait, let me take a picture of this, because I'm going to take it all apart now. But if I take a picture, then we'll kind of figure out how to put it together again. There we go. What if I took this and turned the card like that and made it so that the easel did that instead of the usual mm -hmm. yeah that'd be nice oh i have yes a bow need to put a bow we're not got there yet but what if he makes the flowers more um, in proportion to the card? Mm -hmm. And it's different, right? Mm -hmm. uh, hi, Wendy. Yeah, well, the placement is not 100% yet. We're just kind of getting the layout. So then we could do maybe put the whole thing on the side like that. Now it's really completely all fallen apart because it's all let go. So if we put it on the side like that and then put a bow right there, and then we have would have room either up there or down there for the sentiment. Yeah, and a couple and a three rhinestones or something. Oh yes. Embellishments, definitely. Do we want the background to be plain or do we want to emboss it? Emboss it. I think so. Because I have this new time-worn type embossing folder. Ooh, that might be nice, yeah. So I'm going to do that. And if we don't like it, we don't have to use it. But, you know, if we're going to go way out in left field, might as well really go out in left field. I'm just trying to take my temporary adhesive off here because otherwise it's going to stick to my embossing folder. Yeah, I just got that folder. Need... Pardon? I said, I just got that folder. I wondered what it would be like. Oh. Oh, yeah, Wendy. We could use press and seal. Yep, we could. Okay, okay I'm going to, I have to get my map. I didn't have that part of my machine out. But at least I remember the machine to the right. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? How gorgeous that is just on the black like that? It is. It's popping. That is gorgeous. Very bold. I like it. I want to unbox this anyways, but at least we'll see what it looks like. But I'm thinking we need to just leave that. You know what we could do? We could take the black and then put a, um, a gold, some kind of foil layer, and then a black on top of it and have the flowers on top of the black. Or make a gold frame to make it look like a picture frame. Yeah. Valerie says, ditch the white. <laughs> okay, well, this is time worn type. So this is coming in the new catalog on the 3rd of August. Mm -hmm. Isn't that interesting? And it really is words. Like that says hello, that says and, that says love, never load. No harvest. So there is real words on there. Cool. Okay, so that was fun. 
now you know what it's all about and we're not going to use it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, foil, 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 foil. I don't know. I'm thinking that if we add foil, it's going to take away from the flowers. It might. Let's, how about if we put the flowers on to the black and then we can always put a frame over, like I'll cut a frame out, we'll put it over top and see what it looks like afterwards. But if we get this happening, I need my picture. So I kind of understand where we were going with it. That looks really nice on the uh, black. I like it just on black. Um, what am I going to use for adhesive? I guess Tombow. Oh, yeah. Okay, a Tombow blob. Well, on your top tulip, should you put it on dimensions to give it a little bit more 3D? We could. So, Donna, how are you doing with our flip in, in doing a completely different card now? <laughs> well, not quite following it. I was way, I'm way behind. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. I'm going to put glue on the fourth one. I don't think we're going to use four. I think we'll only use three, but at least the glue will be on there. Okay, now let's move these out of the way so I don't get the glue everywhere. Oh, that one went upside down. Uh oh. Okay. black so we had this one on the top so is this the one Marilyn that one on dimensionals I think so don't you what about if what about if we put the bottom flat and the top on dimensions? yes yes my dimensionals are right here nope I don't want to use that let's use this Okay, so that'll be that one. And then, should we do that to all of them? You could. Except the very bottom one, maybe. Well, we'll put them on. If we don't like them, we can take them on. But it's easier to take them off than it is to put them on after we've got them attached. Mm -hmm. We had it kind of sort of like that. This one was a little bit more tilty. Even though three <laughs> together just look nice. They do. Don't they? With a little bit of greenery in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you like the fat end up or the skinny end up? There's the fat but, end but, up. But the fat end looks fine too. Cool. Okay then. <laughs> Oops. Okay, I have to put temporary adhesive on these because they're going everywhere and they're driving me crazy. Whoops. I just about dropped my punch on the floor. Okay. This one sort of kind of now are we going to angle them like this or straight up and down? I don't think you want true center up and down. I don't want? I don't think so. 
because they seem to pop a little bit more when they're kind of a screw. Yeah. Et voila. Now Holly likes the fat ones up, so we'll just do half and half. Come on, under there. Oops, one should be, uh oh, took the liner off the dimensional, now I'm in trouble. Nice. I like it. Now, stems. No, now I got to get some adhesive on these. Just push those down. A little bit of adhesive on here. Stick that one down in there. Come on. Is that where I had it? Mm -hmm. Right about good. there. Yes. No. Now I have to get the liners off those dimensionals. Oops. There we are. That is stunning, ladies. Beautiful. Okay, now we just need to lift this up. So I can stick a stem or two or three in there. Whoops. And they all, look, they all came with me. <laughs> Don't go on there. Slide on in there. It keeps sticking to my thumb and coming back out. Well, A bow at the bottom of that front flower and you've got it made. Yep. A bow. A fresh freezy a bow? Sure. Or what about a gold uh, rope type ribbon? I don't have any of that, Marilyn. Oh, okay. But I brought all these. So, 
gold one. This is new in the catalog. There's my bow maker. Okay, we have a gold one. Try and get my finger out of the way. So there's a gold, that's the gold one. Then there's this really cool glitter organ thing. Of course, I can't find the end of it. There it is. Uh, I don't think that's going to show up enough. Valerie says gold to tie to the gold frame that I haven't made. <laughs> I forgot about the gold frame. Okay, so there's the glitter organdy. That's kind of pretty. It's got the same glitter in it. It's the same colors as the flowers. And this one, this one is, this is really cool. Because you can tie a knot with this. Oh, of course I made it too, too long. Let's just move that a little closer to the end. So you can tie a, a loose knot and fan oh, yeah. this out. Yeah. That would give it a little bit of whimsy, but that it's silver. It's not gold. Well, that's okay. It's still something shiny. And then we have the fresh freesia. I brought out the um, the polished pink too. So. We don't like the Frisio. I can do polish pink. Mm. I like the one you did before this one better. Mm -hmm. The silver? Yeah. You like that better? Yeah, I do. What if we did? That I need to try and hold it in place, and then did that. Okay, mind my finger because if I let go, it's going to bounce right off of the card. So there's two of the ribbons on there. When Holly says no, Wendy says gold, Frisia is too purple. Okay. Silver one is really striking me. So pretty. Yeah, it is. Do we want do we want to emboss the black or do we want to leave it the way it is? Okay, no to that one, no to that one. 
we have a couple of votes for gold. That really is pretty. It is nice. Very nice. Oh, it's silver. <laughs> I was going to say, try it over the silver. <laughs> You could do silver and gold on the same card. And then we have a vote for the white. Okay, so according to the number of votes, we have white or gold. Gold. And there's the white. Gold. So I've heard gold a couple of times. Holly says gold. I'm going to put some of this ribbon away because now I have a really big ribbon mess on my table. I'm thinking if we want to go classic, gold. Do a silver frame. Oh my God, Belle, don't get me too confused. <laughs> Ah. If you have the gold ribbon, I don't think you need a shiny frame. I don't think so either. No. I'm wondering if we want to do something with the black though, or if we just want to leave it plain. I think it probably needs to be embossed. I'm trying to get this bow apart. Because when you tie these bows with the bow maker, they're really difficult to untie. Yes. <laughs> Just leave it and you have a bow for another time. Well, I can't because then I can't wind it back on my roll. No. You get a little zip bag and you put your bows in it. Yeah, Not then I put them in a cupboard and then I never use them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to help. Thanks. I have a whole pile of, of die cuts that I might use at some point, and I probably will ignore those too. Okay, so gold it is. Ribbon scissors. Yeah. There's James's thank you card. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, you know, you have to make tons of them, right? Yep. Oh, Ooh. that's cool. Oh, neat. <laughs> that is so neat. Very good, Heather. It's almost worth getting my card details. Oh, wait, I probably wouldn't get a thank you card. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm going to make a bunch now. That was easy. <laughs> Okay, put the last thing on the, on the ribbon. Is the little businessman getting lots of business? He's got two to do this weekend. Cool. Yeah, he's so busy, he hasn't got time to do my car. <laughs> he's so busy, he doesn't even do my car. <laughs> uh, you're only the mother. <laughs> Okay. The issue with embossing the black is everything is already on there. Oh, I, well, we're not do, embossing it then. <laughs> That's right. Forgot about that part. 
Yeah, me too. Till just right now. But you don't need to. No. But I'm going to go to my little stash of die cut pieces and see if there's something for a sentiment. See, I have this pile. <laughs> yes, Holly, I do get lots of hugs. So have you guys seen the new pillow box in the catalog? Isn't it cute? Little tiny, you could slide a tea bag in there or about four nuggets, a couple of Girardellis. And then it has this little scallopy thing on it. So that's in there. Very good. These are the pieces that are left over after I cut things out. But it doesn't look like I'm, going to, like I'm going to have anything small enough for a sentiment. I have lots of black ones. I have that one, but that's too big. Okay. See, even when I do remember I have them and bring them out, I still don't use them. All right, so now I have to attach this to that. So where is this going to sit? Going to sit right there. Pencil mark. Um, yeah. yeah, I'll just put it right on here. Since it's going edge to edge, except for that bottom part. Ah, here goes my fingerprint again. You can put one little flower in a, in a leaf inside. Oh, I haven't done. Yeah, we're going to do the inside. I never send out a naked card. Looking for my glue dots to put the bow oh, oh on. And then we got to put bling. Now, we have those gilded gems that are gold. Do they make a die for what? Valerie, what are we making a die for? Okay, the bow is on. What do you think about gilded gems? No, G yeah, the gilded. What are they? Is that what they're called? Wait till I find them. Uh, yes, gilded gems. Because I bet the matte black spots are not going to show up. <laughs> but we have the new brushed pillow boxes. Yes, it's a die, Val. It is a die. Okay. I'm thinking something gold on here. What do you think? Yeah. So we have matte ones, or I have the gilded gems, or there's also the metallic pearls. I don't know why they insist on putting a stupid tape on these things. There. 
So there's the matte ones. There's there's a little bit of shine, but they're not really shiny. So they're not really the same color as the bow at all of those ones are. And then these are the gilded gems. It's difficult for you guys to see, isn't it? On the black. Let's try on white. Nope. All right. But that could be my eyes too. Oh, what about opal rounds? Ooh. That would probably be very pretty. Okay. Let's just get myself organized here. As you know, there's a mess happening. And then there's opal rounds. Ooh, did you see that avalanche? Hmm. Or there's little gold pearls. I'm thinking those because mm -hmm. these are a bit too big and clunky. And these just don't go with it. And these are too angular. Rhinestones, maybe, says Holly. What about those uh, champagne rhinestones? Or um, gold rhinestones? Gold rhinestones? Do we have gold rhinestones? We have, we have something like that, don't we? We have that. Champagne ones. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to find the regular ones. Hang on. Oh my God. Oh, they're way down there. I haven't used them for a long time. Okay, so I have the rhinestones out. So we know that of all the pearls, the choice is the gold ones. So there's those ones, and there's these ones. I, I, I'm not liking those ones. They're just, well, I guess they kind of sort of look the same as the gold. They don't stand out on the card at all, as, as yeah. far as I can tell, anyway. Well, the only way they, they stand out is the bling, like the shine of them. And these are difficult because they're on white. So see that you lose that completely on there. That's just the regular rhinestones. Mm -hmm. What about pearls? Would the pearls uh -huh. look okay with the gold? Um. Okay, so Wendy says, what about in color jewels? So let's just get the pink one. No, don't like those. There's a couple of little purple ones on there. No, they don't, you can't see the rhinestones for some reason. They just, they don't work. Pearls. They're 
Oh, you guys are really not going to be able to see this. It's too bad. Um, they these stand out too much. Like they don't. They're not cohesive at all. When I look at the card, that's the first thing I see. That's not what you want. But I do have these elegant faceted gems. Okay, I don't like the pearls. I'm making an executive decision, no pearls. Because you guys can't, it's difficult to show you on this black. So, now if I took my, hang on, I'm trying to get more light on it for you. Let me turn my flashlight on. See if that will help. Okay, so that's, a, that's the elegant faceted gem. It's the rosy colored one. And then up there is the gold pearl. Um, I don't have any sequins, Valerie, that, oops, wait, I have to turn that off. <laughs> I forgot just turning the phone off, doesn't work there. Um, I don't have any sequins that would work. My my thoughts are this one. Yeah, I think I'm going with that one too. Because you can see it, but it doesn't take away these. This kind of goes into the background and disappears, which is what's happening with most of those. Okay. And I think the pastel pearls are too big. They're quite large. Yeah, those are too big. I don't have the um, artistically inked paper pumpkin kit anymore, Val. I sold my leftover. This is more refined. Those are too big and clunky. Okay, so if I make an executive decision, what's going to happen? <laughs> I like the same ones you do that. <laughs> I like that. I'll put all three of them on here and then you can, there, now you can see them. Yeah. Right. And that is really like, it's, it's elegant and it's refined and we done good. Good. And we have to do the inside yet. But um, sentiment. Yeah. Oh, Valerie says you won't revolt. She won't stop watching. Yay. Could put a sentiment on like that. Well, that kind of sticks out. What about if we did it? Oh my gosh, I got no room. On a colored piece. No. Yes, just a hello. I agree with you. 
Val, just a hello is all we need. Something teeny and tiny. And just trying to find the right color. Oh, there we are. That's better. That pink purple is very striking on the black, yes. Maybe sponge the white with fresh freesia. No, no, no sponging on the front. <laughs> no! Yeah, I'm going to get my hello. I can hear a motorcycle out there. Okay, my hellos. I have several hellos. I have just a plain hello. Little tiny plain hello. Or, so that's, this one is all in small font. Then I have one that is all on large font and they're the same size. What? And then I have one that's a little bit bigger that's written. So those two are printed. This one is written. No. No? <laughs> Sorry, talking to my cat. Oh, <laughs> that's like, okay, that was very definite. <laughs> I think I think with the tulips you need cursive written. I yeah. think so too. Okay, well I'll stamp that one and see what happens. Oh Lord. I know there's blocks around here somewhere. And I'm thinking in black. Yes. Life is beautiful. Life is beautiful. Do I have that one? Okay, I even lost my catalog now. Is it a current one, Wendy? Because if it's not, I don't have it. It's not current, I don't have it. How's that? Yeah. I'm thinking it needs to be stitched, though. That would be pretty. Yeah, the little banner needs to the needs, edge. It needs, needs to something. Really. Yeah, it needs something. Nope. I keep forgetting, like this is the all dressed up dies and I keep forgetting about that stitch die right there. That works really well, but it's too small. Um, this is the next size up. Hello, purple. Ooh, don't fall off my pile here.
Okay, now let's stamp this on here. Okay, why do I have a plastic from ribbon and no ribbon that doesn't have the plastic on it? That's not a weird. I haven't put anything away. It's all sitting oh. here. Huh. One I forgot to put in there. Okay, straight mullet, straight. Hello. Okay, well, let's cut that again. This was one of those aha moments, you know, I talk about aha moments all the time. And this was one of them when somebody, when I figured out to double cut like this to get it any size you want. Oh, you know, I've got a song going through my head now. Hello, mother. Hello, fodder. Here I am at Camp Grand Otter. Sorry, I shouldn't sing. You're probably all squealing and going, oh, shut up, woman. I like that. That's really quite simple. Like I messaged my sister yesterday because she's almost retired. They sold, she's a veterinarian and she sold her practice. And the new people have taken over, but they've committed to helping out for a couple of months. But she's gone from working 10 to 12 hours a day to working seven hours a day. So I asked her, what are you doing with all your extra time? You know what she told me? She's cleaning house. Because <laughs> they're getting ready to put their house up for sale. So she has to finally been in that house 21 years. I think she said she was in there. It's crooked, sorry. There we go. There's our card front. Man, that didn't turn out anything like <laughs> it started. <did> <laughs> nope. White piece for the inside. Nope, that's the card base. Oh, there it is. One stem left. And I have a couple of buds. And I think I need one of the other leaves because I think these leaves are going to be too big. Maybe not. How's that? I think the leaves are too big. Maybe put one of the big flowers in there and a little one in the leaf. Then it might be okay. Just it might be the, good. Cut the leaf in half. Oh, can't do that. You mean this way? Yeah. No, no. The long way. That, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> good night, Yvonne. Thanks for hanging out with us. I'll just use the smaller leaf because there's one of those in there.
Now I get to do some fussy cutting again. Oh, that stupid song is still going through my head. I was doing um, social media posts today and I have a graphic in there and it says, if you were to have to spend your, the rest of your life inside a movie, what movie would you want to be in? So I'm not gonna tell you what my answer was because you're going to have to check out my social media. And I think it was in my VIP group in August sometime. So you guys get a, a sneak peek on how, what you're going to think of what movie you want to be inside. For the I'm rest going to be in life. trouble because I really don't watch them. <laughs> Me neither. Okay, one leaf, two leaf, one flower, two flowers. Oh, those leaves are much better. There. They are. Okay. Remember what that looks like, okay? Because <laughs> I have to take it apart. Don't forget to do the draw. Yes. Don't forget to do the draw. Okay. If I put that right there, you think that will remind me? Probably not. Okay, so that's on there. One leaf up there. And whoop, one leaf down there. Oh, it's stuck to my finger. that one right there and this one is that what it looked like i don't remember now i did not well i've done the draws wendy i just haven't announced them yet And I'm going to cut this leaf off because it's sticking down. There we are. It's silly because two tulips are on one stem, but it is what it is. Now we have to do the thing for the inside that pops it up. Like that. Um, and who's that bag of die cuts? This. I think with all of this stuff in here, there would be one I could use. But there's not. The 
the one I like for doing this is the potted succulent one. Shall I put one in or do can or do you want to just leave it like this? Because if you put it up that way, it's it doesn't need anything to hold it open, does it? Like a regular. Hello, is anybody out there in Facebook world or in Zoom world? All it's going to stay out by itself. It's a little... I'm thinking so. It's not like a, a you the usual easel card that needs something to prop it open. There we are, the inside. Oh, maybe that should have been on the other side. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. What are the chances? I'll probably end up having to replace that piece of white now too. Come on. Oh, and I had to go and use Tombow. Where's my... Oh, sound good. Come on. Holy man, that stuff sticks. When it comes, <sighs> okay. Now take this off. Too late, Valerie. Valerie's telling me to leave it the way it is. But I, I think it would look really pretty with that flower peeping out from the other side. I've already destroyed the inside, so we're going for it. Okay. Okay, I had another one. Where did it go? There it is. Do you want to put a layer of black in here? Like that. Get off my fingers. Okay, so what about if I put the black in? Now, remember, I haven't cut this white down yet, so that's why it looks funny. Yeah, I like that. Yep. Good night, Donna. Okay, I'm just going to do a little trimmy trimmy. Whoops. Just about ripped my tulips off.
I'm so excited because my my stamp and seal has been working so good lately. No, I said that. I know. Now that I've said that, it's probably going to stop. And pop that in there. Whoops, whoops. No. Oh. oh. Oh well. Ta-da! Oh, and then look, that little leaf holds it open. That's Very nice. exciting. Envelope, <laughs> tulip. One leaf, two leaf, tulip. See, that's why you did those extra tulips. Yeah. Little did we know what I was going to do, eh? Well, you had it in mind all along. <laughs> do we want to leave that one poor unloved thing? What about one leaf and one little tulip? One big one. One leaf. It's just curving in the wrong direction. Put it over there. Perfect. That's all you need. Just that? Yeah. Good idea. Let's just make that happen. Come on, my Tombo's decided it's gone to sleep. Come on. Okay, one leaf. Something like that. One tulip. Something like that. Done. Except this one's going on the back. Because mm -hmm. I got it, I might as well use it, right? It's a lot of work into this tulip because it's one of the hand cut ones. Here we are. Oh, I'm so excited about this card. That is cool. Oh, I lost you guys. Where'd you go? Come back. There we are. Okay, draws. Draws. I have two of them. That is such a cool card. Okay, so the first one was Ladybug Trinkets and this card. And the winner of that is Sharon N from Port Alberni. And I don't think she's watching tonight. So those will go out to her. Yay, congratulations, Sharon. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, and the resin hearts and my spanner card. Oh, Janet Chin in Powell River. Yay. Yay. So I'll get those out in the mail. I remembered to do the draws. Woo. Oh, look at this card, ladies. We did such an amazing job. Yeah. I love it. Great. And those. 
those embellishments really look nice on there. All right. So we don't have time to do a second card, I'm sorry. <laughs> it just took way too long. I like to complicate things. Well, you know, it started out in one direction and ended up completely different. Yes. But that's that's the fun of doing them. We make a good team, I must admit. And I'm sure in the next hour, I will have my craft room cleaned up again. So that's it now until, when am I live again? Let me get my life here. So next week, I'm away. I'm away, I'm away. And then we're back on the weekend. Mm. So I'm not live now until next third a week Thursday. Woo! You guys get a nice long break from me. The fifth, August the fifth. I will be back. We'll be in withdrawal. <laughs> well, I don't have anything scheduled for YouTube on Tuesday, and I don't have anything scheduled for Monday, right? Because Monday's the holiday, right? August the 2nd is yeah. the holiday. So I probably will be busy. And But the Tuesday, I don't have YouTube scheduled but I don't know what I'm doing with my life at this point yet for that week. So I know definitely a definite probability that I will be live again on the 5th. But, you know, life can change between now and then because it's two weeks away. Thanks for hanging out with me, ladies. It was fun and we did an amazing card well thank you very much and good night good night stamp and smiles and we'll see y'all soon take care yeah. have fun holiday and yes enjoy your time i might go live from the beach you never know <laughs> bye. bye bye over there on facebook thanks for joining us